I'm Alex. And I'm Teddy. And we are the, the Button Mappers. Hey, the Button Mappers. <laughs> That's my spin dash sound. Wow, I thought there was a bunch of words that were said faster than... <laughs> hey, everybody, the, on the... <laughs> the intro to the first one. Dude, do you realize this is the fourth uh, map out video? Wow, hey, 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 congratulations. And, I'll and just what, smack my microphone what, while I'm at it. What, what happens when you divide four and a half? You get two, and that's why we're doing Sonic 2 today. That's why? Oh, I could have <laughs> sworn it was because we did the first one. <laughs> oh, so, well... I don't think you got the memo. Mm. Well, <laughs> not too late. And I love math. So let's do it. Sonic 2. <laughs> I love math. <laughs> <laughs> I love math. So I got to play Sonic 2. <laughs> <laughs> it all makes sense now. My childhood. Teddy, Alex, Sonic, <laughs> you weren't supposed to answer. <laughs> Sonic, Sonic 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. Wow, that's special. Yeah, it's, it sure is. Why? Um, I mean, we'll, we'll, I, we'll, we'll, we'll cover that as the video goes on. I mean, we're going to map out the entire game. That's how these videos work. You know, these episodes, they, we talk about everything in the game um but it's just it holds a special place in my heart i do want to tell a, 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 a very quick story and i'll make it quick because uh, i know we got a lot of stuff to get through um i told the story previously about how i got my first genesis at a yard sale for three dollars mm-hmm. um but i i actually played this game before that um my cousin she had a model 2 genesis and one of the games she had was sonic 2 and I played that game, like, every single time I would go over to her house. Like, I don't think she cared about her Model 2. She played, like, like she had it, it in a few other games, you know, and she played it here and there. But usually whenever I'd go over, I'd be playing Sonic 2. Mm. And um, th- what's special is that the copy that I have to this day is that very same copy. Hey, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when she got older, she gave me all her Genesis stuff. Including her Model Two, which I, I I didn't keep because I have the superior Model One, uh, so I I gave that away. But I kept all the games, including the copy of Sonic Two that I played through my childhood. That's a lovely memory. <laughs> so. Sonic Two is one hell of a drug. You got any Sonic Two uh, uh, memories or anything you want to share before we jump in? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, no, I remember Sonic 3 mostly. Although I do remember playing a bit of Sonic 2 co-op. And I mean, that's a whole thing in and of itself. Uh, but I actually, I just want to say before we get started, you know, when when we think of the Sonic 2 identity, we tend to think, you know, the spin dash. We tend to think uh, Tails is a boy. We tend to think... Um, um, okay, that's an inside joke, but uh, you know, we, t- <laughs> we tend Tales to think, you know, like the game that Tails was introduced, Mr. Miles yeah. Tails. We tend to think, um, okay, cool bonus stages, but we don't always think about the map itself. So I think uh, that's that's kind of what we want to, you know, make shine yeah. today. And I think it's interesting because going into the first Sonic, of, you know, I think um, we didn't. It's it that video that that map out turned out a lot different than I had it you know like in my head you know i don't know how it turned out in your head like how you had it before we did it Um, that video kind of taught me that these map outs are really cool because sometimes we stumble on conclusions we didn't originally anticipate yeah um and so so with this being our fourth one and we're going into sonic 2 um it should be a good time we we should be right at home with these map outs we've been doing them for three episodes now (laughs) so (laughs) let's map this game Let's map. We got we got boos. We got twos. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Where to, Alex? The first stage, Emerald Hill. Um, this is where the story begins. <laughs> where it all begins. <laughs> where it all begins. <laughs> Was it worth it? Um, science. Age old uh, question. <laughs> Sorry. So, starting up this game, uh, if if they didn't give you the name of this level, um, you could just call it Green Hill Zone. I think. I was going to say the same thing. You know, they might as well have just called it Green Hill 2. 
Yeah, I, I, I don't know why they felt the need to change the name. Like, yeah, the, the, the aesthetics are slightly different than the original Green Hill Zone, but it still holds a lot of the same um, presentation, you know, like the green grass, the checkerboards, the, the palm trees, you know, like it, it's the, the bridges, the waterfalls. It still feels pretty similar. Which do you prefer? I think this one, it, well, Sonic 2 is a lot better with its level design than Sonic 1 was anyway. Um, some This one, probably. Um, I do really like the original aesthetic of the original Green Hill Zone, but this one definitely feels like, um, I guess, more of a sequel. I like the, the, the really blue sky and stuff, you know? Hmm. Okay. I'm a little on the opposite spectrum, although... You know, we're looking at the map right now, and you know, there are some interesting elements included, like you go behind the waterfall, which you don't exactly do in Sonic 1. And, uh, there's four loops on the first stage, meaning this is, you know, this is your playground again, for especially for messing around with the spin dash, it's first time experiencing the spin dash. Uh, so this one is, I don't want to call it a tech demo because that's, that's unfair, but it's, you know, it's built so you can really play with the new mechanics and kind of see tails fly around too. Yeah. I, I, I love the addition of the corkscrews. Mm. I think, which they don't really use them a whole lot during the game, at, like outside of this point, um, which is kind of a shame. But it's a bit more I, of a Sonic Mania thing now. Yeah, but the, but the corkscrew was was introduced here in Sonic and it, it looked good. Like, <laughs> like it's fun to, to, to go through, you know? It makes sense as far as, you know, Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Uh, other than that, I don't know. What else is there to talk about this that, that we didn't already establish in the original Green Hill Zone? I think what I, where I stand on this, you know, in just heat of the moment, it's the final countdown. No, I'm joking. Um, is I feel like whereas this one feels more of like the showpiece, the tech demo, the first one felt like the identity for the game. Mm-hmm. So I kind of... I don't know if I wish I felt that more here, but I never really felt the same connection to this Emerald Hill as I did to Green Hill. I yeah, I get it. Well, and I think a lot of that has to do with um, Sonic Two has has shorter levels than Sonic One um, mm. in terms of of the the amount of acts and the um, just the just you know just the levels in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, like this, like I I, I think the Sonic. If I recall, when we looked at the Sonic One map, the levels were a lot like a lot bigger. Like you had more to find on the tops and bottoms, um, mm-hmm. which I, I I do like some of the levels going on. But but I remember Green Hill Zone having more to find. Um, mm-hmm. So maybe that's one thing that this level is kind of holding back on. It's it's kind of it's pretty linear. Mm-hmm. So. I think part of the crazy thing is like. You know, I'm almost fumbling to come up with ideas to talk about this stage versus in that first game, if that was a whole video on its own. Yeah, well, it's just the same experience, I guess. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing. It, it is a good way to start the game. You know, it can't be a Sonic game without this, this type of area. Um, to, you know, for sure. Yeah. Really. It's not bad. It's not a bad stage. Yeah. It's just, you know, it's a good starting point. Mm-hmm. Um, teaches you the mechanics, I guess. A starting point to what, Alex? Sonic 2. <laughs> the adventure. Um, and, you know, and I think that's why, um, mo- moving on to the next stage, why it, I, I think it's a little more well-known than this stage. Oof. Are you going there? <laughs> yeah, going there. <laughs> you going there. <laughs> are, are you ready to move on? Yeah, I am. All right, uh, so the next zone, um, after em- Emerald Hill, and it's, uh, it's, it's you know, it's okay, is... Um, Chemical plant. And Describe chemical plant in three or less words. Fucking awesome. Dude, I, we're on the same wavelength. <laughs> I was going to say that too. It is, um, this is the stage, and this is the one that has been included in a bunch of the celebration games and throwback games and Sonic Mania and all that stuff. Because this is like the iconic Sonic 2 level. This is pretty much the, this game's Green Hill Zone. This I, is I would say. The- fucking balls to the wall sonic experience right here this level is just looking at the map it's it's like almost mesmerizing it looks intimidating <laughs> at first but i get i get what you mean because everything it, it flows so well it connects mm-hmm. um, you know? 
What do you think about the level aesthetic that's being like like a second stage? It's it's badass. It it asserts the Sonic identity as like this is the cool you know, Mario killer. Yeah. You know, this is like this is where he actually goes fast. This is with the inclines. This is with, you know gosh, a lot of those like speed up stations. Um the there is like a water section, but it's not even like water. It's you know, some kind of like toxic water or something. And but, if you're fast enough, you, you can even avoid it. Yeah, and precise, because you do need some precision at some of the points. Yeah. I, I'm i I'm so floored by it, by how cool this stage is, and I, I really do like it. This stage is one that is kind of hard to... It's cool to look at the map, because it, it's it, while you're playing it, you're, you're going so fast, and then you, you get in those little tubes, and you shoot around the level. It's kind of hard to tell where you are at some points, you know? Because he just kind of throws you all over the place, but you never feel disorientated, though. You always know where you, you know what in what direction you need to go. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's got good level design for that, you know, um, for the fact that it does throw you around, but you but you know but you never feel lost. What's um, your favorite part of Chemical Plant Zone? Ooh, that's hard. Um, I don't know. There's so much to like here, man. Probably, like I said, probably the tubes that just shoot you. Like I think it's such a cool um, gimmick. It's like those little spinny wheels that like speed you up when you run through them. What every time? What? Huh? Uh, so it's like before you go up or down a hill, there's like a, a set uh, of wheels that are like turning in on each other, and then you run through them, and it speeds you up. I, I, Is that what you're talking about? No, I'm talking about the pipes that you jump into, and they like shoot you through the oh. through the pipes to like the, to like the other sections. You know? Mm. I think it's such a cool mechanic. Like. I don't know. I know you don't really get to do anything at those points. It's just kind of fun to watch, you know. Mm hmm. And I, you know, we're not we're talking about Sonic Mania today. I guess we are kind of, but when they do it in Sonic Mania, it's just like something else. It's really cool <laughs> seeing the different things they can really propel you to. I I love this 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 level's aesthetic, like seeing the tubes, the blue liquid and stuff, and then you know, like even going to the chemical, like like the purple chemical water and stuff. Like it's so it's so cool. It's so nineties. Mm -hmm. um, I wish I could think of the theme music offhand. I just remember it being so cool, though. Uh, well, I just we just got done playing a little bit before we recorded this, so right right now I just have Mystic Cave stuck in my head because that level of music <laughs> is fucking great. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> it's no no. Uh, uh, hold on, Chemical Plants like didn't 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 right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic Sonic 2's music's fucking great too. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, I could I could just gush over this stage. For me it's it's definitely those inclines. Like come act two or even act one, the first thing you're doing is running down these little windy paths. Oh. You're just going so fast. You don't even have to spin dash, you don't even have to make yourself in a ball. You could just be running at normal speed. Yeah, the you, you do get a lot of speed. It's probably the the this is what I think this is where they learned from the first game because the the second level in the first game was um, marble zone, and it, you it, it's not fast. <laughs> it's it's so funny to think back to that now. Yeah, so yeah, so think about it. Like they they really did learn from the from the first game. Like this, the the it's it's a fast level. You can speed through it. It's so much fun. Having just come out of an amusement park today, I have to say that. You know, this this is the pinnacle of, of Sonic fun. <laughs> uh, it's a good it's a good level. Um, it's iconic, and there's a reason why they keep bringing it back. Mm. Any uh, last words for the chemical plant? Um, that blue that sorry that that purple water used to scare me when I was a kid because I didn't know you know because you guys like you get into the water then if you don't get out fast enough it goes dun 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 and I'm like oh no hurry up I mean it's the spiders I hate this dance oh yeah they grab you and then they won't let you go and then they explode sometimes you like sometimes you could break free but if you have tails with you he might help you out yeah yeah he might pop them but most of the time yeah they just grab you and explode it's a pain in the ass um but uh, moving on, we have Aquatic Ruin. Oh, God, Aquatic Ruin. This sounds like Labyrinth Zone all over again. Jesus Christ. But wait, they fixed it. 
What? <laughs> is this a good water level? It's actually not a bad water level. Would you call this level good? It's okay. Um, I, well, no, it is good. Yeah, it's it's better, I think. I actually, I hate the when you actually end up in the water sections. Uh -huh. That's when I get a little frustrated with it. But if you can avoid it successfully, I, think, I appreciate Aquatic Room giving where you the, that option and well, making it pretty transparent. I think that's where the fun comes in, is that you want to try to stay on the top level. And even though you fall into the water and you can get back out, it's almost like the you know like you want to get good and you want to be able to stay out of the water like like i know uh, at least at the first stage i can usually avoid the water pretty well um stage two you really need to be paying attention mm -hmm. but if you manage to do it then you know you can just clear the entire you know ruins oh like over the arches and just running on top of you know platforms and you don't even have to like stress out like you know, precision platforming too much. And again, I think this is a good uh, example of them learning from experiences. I mean, Aquatic Ruin could be the name of Labyrinth Zone, you know? Mm. Um, and I think this is where, where we fucking ripped Labyrinth Zone apart. I think this is um, a good example of, of how that level could have played. <laughs> this is a better looking level than Labyrinth Zone too. Labyrinth Zone is super plain. Yeah, it is. Um, this is a whole lot, like, it, it looks better. It looks like overgrown, like, old ruins and stuff, you know? Like, it definitely has that, that, that theme down a lot better. Um, I like the columns that break and stuff when you have to jump over them. Columns. Did, did you say you like columns? <laughs> uh, I have a feeling you're going to edit that to have me say I like columns. <laughs> <laughs> Highlights. Best of the button mappers 2019. I like columns. Alex likes columns. <laughs> I like columns. I like the columns in this level. I like the columns. <laughs> I like the columns. It even has the little drill-looking dudes from Labyrinth Zone. The little, little drill, drill bots. Mm -hmm. They even return to the stage. Hmm. How do you feel about the stage as a whole? It's okay. It's not one of my favorites. It's not one that I'm, I'm eager to get back to, but I never mind playing through it. Yeah, that's fair. I think there are a few frustrations for me. Some of them are above water, and some of them are below. Okay, go ahead. When I'm below water, my primary complaint has to be with the pillars that will shatter and then drop on the ground. Because if you're spin dashing, you'll spin dash right to the um, trajectory of a falling pillar. And oh, yeah. And you know how Sonic is about spikes. Yeah. Or just, just um, being so crushed by anything. It's just game over, yeah. <laughs> game <And> over, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> No. <laughs> Game over. No. <laughs> the other is um, the tiki's when they fire their arrows. If you're running above the, the above the water, let's just say. Yeah. The tiki's can screw you over with any arrows that are flying across the stage. I think they're pretty easy to avoid, though. For the most part, but there are some stray arrows. Um. I like how some of the loops kind of go in behind the back, like the foreground. Um, they go into the background. Mm -hmm. That's a neat touch. Mm. Um, this is good. This is like they combined Green Hill Zone with with Labyrinth Zone. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 or they it's, tried anyway. They tried. It's better. It's definitely not as bad as the water levels in Sonic One. Mm hmm. By 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 far, this is a pretty good water stage. How do you feel about this as a world three? Uh, it works. It's definitely not not hard enough to to deserve to be any higher. Um, I guess I'll have to think about where I would put each level as we go along. Um, you know, because I I do like for it to make some kind of sense. Um, but I think it works as a third stage. Hmm. What about you? Okay. It's just a little underwhelming, I feel like. I don't know. I kind of want a little more than this. Especially with what Chemical Plant delivers. Following it up with this is... I don't know. So you, so you think maybe they should have put this in stage two? I don't know. Not necessarily. But I, I don't think following up Chemical Plant with this was uh, necessarily good a good idea. Okay. Yeah, I, I see what you mean by that. 
it's food for thought anyway. You know, I don't know that I'd necessarily change it or anything right now, but I just, I don't know. We'll see as the, the game goes on. Or should I say, the map out. The map out. I guess we'll move on um, to a level that um, we, have to, we have to talk about this level, man. Sure. This is Casino, Casino Night. Casino Night. It's, the, it's it my night. Casino it, Night. It introduces lucky. one of uh, Sonic's biggest gimmicks, or not gimmicks, but uh, I guess themes of the whole series. Gambling. <laughs> Sonic's for kids. <laughs> and pinball, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> gambling. This feels, this feels like, again, going back to Sonic 1, this feels like what they tried to do with, with Spring Yard. And only, did they succeed? Yes, only they actually did it this time. <laughs> mm. This level's I don't mind the... What was it called in the first game? Was it Casino Zone? No, no, it's, no uh, so. Spring Yard. Spring Yard, right? Yeah. I didn't mind Spring Yard. I thought it was a good level. But as a level that's supposed to be paced on, like, pinball, like, this does a lot better. Oh, yeah. This will... I mean, you have aesthetic, first off. But then you have, like, a lot of level mechanics that that work mostly well i feel like those little sections in the middle of the stages sometimes where it's like an actual pinball stage and like there's rings that you can collect as sonic this does sonic spinball's job for it sonic spinball doesn't need to exist because casino night does yeah it's it it's fun way to hit better it's fun to hit the pinball machine to hit the slots and like earn extra coins because it can have you you know like it can help you earn lives it can, you know, it's it's a good way to rack up some lives. Mm -hmm. What are some of your favorite things about Casino Night? I like the little sections where you roll into a ball and then the little spring pushes you out, like the mm -hmm. like like the launcher, I guess you could just call it. Mm -hmm. I I really like that. I like the elevators too, and I love the background. The background's so pretty. Like I I can almost just take the background image and hang it on my wall. It's like like, like art. <laughs> Like, the music's really nice and jazzy too. Like I couldn't remember Chemical Plant, but I can. This one is coming to me. Yeah. And I, I mean, like, like they have the little neon light-looking palm trees that are always around. Those are really neat. Like, it's just, it's just a pleasing level. It, lo it looks great. It sounds great. Um, There's no need to cope. I, you don't have to cope with this one. I think. Um, <laughs> I think the only issue with this level, which is something that's just in, in every Sonic level like this, is that some of the platforming with the bumpers is still kind of a pain. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of hard to control at points. Um, I know that there's, there's some points where I'm trying to go to a specific platform and I get bumped around a lot and it just takes <laughs> it takes me forever to figure, you know, to get <laughs> where I need to go. Yeah. I'm not a fan of some of the box platforming sections. You can get squished pretty easy. Yeah. And, um, and it just slows you down. There's a couple invincibility boxes in this level, and I just remember getting them, and then not even it not even mattering that I got an invincibility box, which is not the first time that's happened in a Sonic game between one and two. But you know, it's just like why? Why did they do that here? What do you feel about like the um, the, the 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 slopes? I guess you call them like the big sections where you drop down and fly back up. Well, I love the casino pinball sections where it's just huge. Mm -hmm. um, also, I, I know what you mean now, like looking at these little um, arcs. Yeah, and yeah, these little like dips. Build up speed. Um, they're okay. I don't think they're implemented as, you know, to the best of their ability. Although, I do like how they're executed in the boss at the end. Yeah, well, which we haven't really been talking about the bosses, but this is actually a boss I don't mind. Um, so the way it works for the listeners at home, you know, if you maybe you've played Sonic 2 up until, you know, Aquatic Ruin or something, uh, the way it works is you have these little back and forth, I don't know what you call them, alleys or something, maybe like, you know, like a, a curved, curved pinball looking stage. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you have to kind of build up momentum and then roll bounce off of the edges when Robotnik's going back and forth in order to hit him. Or you can use the bumpers that are pinball-esque to try and hit him. But he's dropping stuff at you, so it's actually better to use the walls. It's, it's a good boss fight. You can get into it like a really good rhythm. And um, if you do that, it's really easy to like 
time your your jumps and then like like kind of like keep rolling back and forth and keep hitting them. Mm-hmm. Um, and I find that to be really satisfying. It's the first one that I think is really a clever Robotnik battle. Yeah, the, it's the first one that I think uses Sonic's mechanics well. You know, like lo- most most like boss fights in, in the classic Sonic games don't use Sonic's like speed for anything, and this level like like this one does. It, it, mm-hmm. it like it actually has a purpose. Um, mm. You know, like instead of just hitting Robotnik, like you have to be able to use the slopes. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that's that's the casino night. I mean, you know, usually it's not too good to overspend your time at the casino, but you know, this <laughs> is one that uh, I think is is worth exploring a little bit. It is worth it. <laughs> it's so worth it. Uh, okay, moving on um, to Hilltop. I like this thing. If, if we didn't use the Earthworm Jim soundtrack, we could have used Hilltop. <laughs> I, I I love Hilltop so much. It's it's got it's got such good music. The boop boop mappers. What do you think about this level? Hmm. Um, I like the dinosaur. I like the. I keep, I keep saying this, but I like the aesthetics of being like really high up on this like almost like mountain or something. What did they learn here? Talk to me. Uh, what did they learn? I, I don't. I don't know if I'm picking up on this one. What do you pick it up on? Nothing, but it's just that we've said they've learned so much in like the past three stages. They have. I think this might be the first one where it doesn't feel like they tried to, to to correct something from the first game. You know what this reminds me of, though, looking at this map? Who's that? Marble. Oh, shit. Yeah, with the lava? Mm. Well, yeah, but the lava doesn't play a, a very integral part of this one. Like, it's, Which is kind of where they learned. I guess, yes. I, 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 I guess so. Um, I didn't think of that originally, but looking at this, it's almost like... Well, let's combine, you know, this idea of, like, I guess Green Hill. Like you mm-hmm. said before with Aquatic Ruin, they combine Green Hill and Labyrinth. This might as well be Green Hill and Marble Zone. Yeah, that's, you know what, that, that's true. I never looked at it that way. I think this one should have been earlier on. Mm-hmm. Maybe level three. Hmm. I think there's some cool ideas. I like the the escalator platforms or whatever you call them the ones that are on like these little ski lines and yeah. then they just drop yeah they're like ski lift looking things that's I l- a cool little idea i love the seesaws <laughs> seesaws are clever i mean they could they could have easily just put springs there or something in those spots but having mm. to like bounce a little dude i don't call him he's like a little ball like bounce him over and use his weight to fling yourself up it's so cool mm. those are are good um I like there is some hidden areas here. I like one point where you're you're in the the rising lava room and you get the invincibility box. It's the first time I think I got the invincibility box and I'm like, "Oh yeah. Like this is this is useful. I'm trying to rush out of this lava pit." Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's a cool little section. This is a very looking at the map. This is a very simple area. Especially for Act One, I got to look at Act Two. But I think you, I, I, I think like you said with the, like the rooms with the rising lava and stuff. I think the way that they set it up still influences like a, a sense of speed. You know, like you still want to go fast, even though this is much more of a, a, a platform heavy area. Hmm. Um, it still has that illusion though. It still has the loops. It has the little. I like the loops where you go up and you go like you break the floor. Um. And, and like shoot down, you know what I'm talking about? Where you like, that's a marble trope. Yeah. Yes, you know what? That is true. Yeah, you broke the floor of marble. Shit, dude. <laughs> Damn, they really, they really looked at what they did in the first game, didn't they? Damn, I mean that's that's four for five right now. The only one I think is maybe uh, standing out is Emerald Zone, but who cares? Again, it's just another Green Hill looking area. Yeah. But at like like mechanic wise, wow, I never thought about this but yeah no, it looks like they really did like go back and improve you know what the first game had that's, that's the beauty of the map out right there the beauty of the map out 
It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> um, solid stage. I'll, I like this stage. Yeah, not a bad one. I'm I'm more of a fan of it than Aquatic Ruin for sure. Um, I would replay, you know. I I I think it's a nice breath of fresh air after you get out of uh, Casino Night. Could you call it a breath of the wild? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Wrong Sonic, company. Sonic Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Could you call it a breath of fire? No. Is there anything else you want to note on this one? No, I do, I do like that dinosaur though. That's a cool dinosaur. It's, yeah, it is a cool dinosaur. Why is he here? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, I guess moving on. Let's uh, let's get mythical and mystical in the the cave of the mystics, Mystic Cave. <laughs> it's the, it's such a the it's such a fucking danceable song. Dude. It's bring your scene. Yeah, that's this is a funky one, and it's like a, a dark stage too. Yeah, it's not like, like a spooky gothic or anything, but it's it's you know, it's it's pitch black. It's the cave. It's spooky. It's mystic. Yeah. This one is maybe okay, okay, okay. Maybe this is the first one that isn't similar to Sonic One. Hmm. Okay, how do you mean that? I mean, like, I'm, t- I'm, I'm trying to think back to Sonic 1, and other than, like, fucking Labyrinth, so I don't think I'm, there, there's any other stages that I could really compare, you know, to this one. Do you like Mystic Cave Zone? Yes. I like the, um, <laughs> I like the aesthetic. I like, <laughs> do you? <laughs> I like the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. I think it fits as, like, a spooky level. Almost like it's got like the moss in some areas and the vines you gotta grab. Um, got bats on the ceiling. Like, you know. We haven't seen this yet in a Sonic mm-hmm. game. You know, at, well, you know, to this point. Hmm. This is one of the first ones where there's definitely some precision platforming required. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's the it's the first level of the game. Which is pretty good because it's what is this like level five, uh, six now? Six. It's the first level where I think speed is not a, a, a option. This one you really gotta watch your step. Do you appreciate that in this stage? Yeah, I I, I feel like we we're, we're far enough in. They just they've done such a good job with the last five stages of keeping the the the, the speed a big a big mechanic that. You know, like this one does have some slopes and some, you know, parts, you know, parts you can run. But y- yeah, I, I do appreciate that, that it is more platform heavy. Mm-hmm. What are some of your favorite platforming challenges here? Um, I, I don't know if I call them platforming challenges. I like the little, um, the platforms on the ropes that like hit each other back and forth. Almost like a pendulum. Mm. Those are really cool. Um. I like having to grab the um, vines to to bring down the bridges and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't I, I don't like the boxes. No, the boxes are a pain. The boxes that's for sure. suck. Um, I don't know. Looking back at it, I think this level really sells itself more on the atmosphere than it does anything else. I think so. I actually. I'm not sure any of the platforming challenges are so unique here. I mean, yeah, the pendulum swinging um, platforms are cool, but we kind of saw that in Aquatic Ruin. I do kind of like the vines that drop down the the ledges. I'm not like I'm not making any, any immediate connections. Um, I'm not necessarily, you know, I guess we did really get to just run and explore in the past few stages, so I'm not like that opposed to this stage. I do feel though it can move a bit slow. There are times where you gotta wait for a couple things, like you have to wait for uh, some like bridges to extend that have spikes at the end of them. It's not necessarily a terrible section, um, but I do kind of wish there's at least a few more sections where you could really run in here. But as a solely unique new Sonic level to this point, like I think it does a, a decent job. Mm-hmm. In aesthetic. In, in the aesthetic. <laughs> the aesthetic. Sonic 2 aesthetic. <laughs> yeah. It's a real aesthetic. What, do you, what would you say this level is? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it okay? 
It's okay, but I like the boss at the end. I think that was pretty clever. It's probably another good Robotnik boss. It, it, it uses the fact that you're in a cave well for the boss fight, you know? like Yeah, not necessarily Sonic's mechanics, but um, I, I do like his... Should I say it? Go ahead. Aesthetic. Aesthetic. <laughs> yes, I like his aesthetic. Aesthetic. <laughs> yes. We are the aesthetic mappers. <laughs> Today we are aesthetic mappers. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not a bad one. It's a good challenge at the end. Um, I don't know. I really don't know what to say. <laughs> it's it's a it's an okay level. Do you know what I'm going to say? It's got aesthetic. It's got a good aesthetic. <laughs> it's got a good aesthetic, yeah. Um, yeah, it's 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 okay. It's a good you know, It's a decent level. Yeah, it's not the worst. Especially, I mean, we had four really good stages. Maybe three really good stages at this point. So, you know, I don't mind this. I'm not, like, upset. Moving on. Yeah, let's move on. We have Oil Ocean. All right, you're not bam. allowed to say anything about its aesthetic. Bam, 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 bam. Burm, 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 burm. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jesus, dude. This this levels. Uh, this levels got a good uh. Ocean. It's got a good ocean. <laughs> it's good. The um. I mean, some would say the the aesthetic is pretty good. <laughs> not allowed. You're not allowed. To <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all seriousness. Um, again, another solid. I would say it's pretty original stage. I, I do think they actually took some of the parts of this from Labyrinth Zone, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, hmm. But, overall, they haven't done a level like this. Um, I, I like the oil. I like the, the, the theme of like this big plant you're in. Um, I mean, we were in Chemical Plant earlier, you know, but this one kind of fits better, I think. Um, I really like the like the music. I like the platforms with the fans that kind of twirl you in the, like, like, like up in the air. Um, what do you think? I have to say, I do like the concept. You know, I mean, I just, I like this map. I'm looking at this map right now. Yeah. The fact that the, you know, you're actually in like ocean water that you can jump out of. You know, usually you're in the water and it's just like, you have, you sink, right? Yeah. But here it's like, you can kind of like jump out of it. That's a cool little uh, concept that they toy with. And the, the oil slides, those, um, those little cannons that fire you like halfway across the map and then it's like whoa where am i going i don't know but uh you know i'm i'm in the canon yeah like DK, i don't know dk country style you know yeah um like barrel style yeah. I guess. um i don't know that it's it's as as well implemented as maybe some other stages but i think it's really impressive like the first i remember my first time playing oil ocean do you yeah. Uh, yes, I believe. I know. What were some of your impressions? Oh, this is hard because I was I was young. <laughs> Any recollection? Um, I know this is where I would die a lot when I whenever I was younger. I actually only got past this area when I was younger because I played it on. I had the Mega Collection Plus on PS2, and I actually used save states when I was younger um, to get through this area. Um, yeah. So, yes, I cheated, everybody. I'm Teddy. I cheated. And I'm Alex. <laughs> and we are. <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to say earlier about uh, Labyrinth Zone, the, the slopes remind me of Labyrinth Zone. Hmm. The slides where you slide down the slides. that That's like the area in Labyrinth Zone where you have to slide down the mm, slides. See, okay. see what I mean Like the, you know, by that? That kind of reminds me of that. Yeah, I do. I, do. I, I think it's done better here, but... It's, uh, are you a fan of Oil Ocean? Eh, yes. I would say overall, yes. Um, I like it. Um, what, what's the word I'm looking for, Teddy? <laughs> um, clue, clue land. Yeah, well, that's the opposite of, of, <laughs> of aesthetic. So, <laughs> <laughs> Although it has nice box art. It does. Well, um I think that they did this level a lot better in Sonic Mania. Hmm. 
because this, this this is what this is an example of one of the levels that were, were cool it was fun but not one that i would have thought they would have brought back and they did bring that back in sonic mania and they made it a lot better by adding different mechanics what's missing in this one then I think what they what what they did that was cool in the I don't know if you remember Sonic Mania the that, that version but the second act they like set it on fire which is genius mm. because it means it's an oil ocean like yeah set it on fire that'd be cool <laughs> mm. okay cool um, I didn't remember that it's yeah it's it's a very cool uh, second stage and it's like there's there's like smog in the air and you have to clear the smog at some points um and so like after playing the sonic mania version it's kind of hard for me to go back to this one um because i think that one is much better but i do enjoy some of the platforming here i enjoy the little the little shooty cannons i enjoy um the sections where you have to hop on the lids so they pop up go boom, and then you have to like ride the lids up you know mm. those are fun yeah, I think that would be nice, a nice sound cue for this uh, stage in this video. Bunk. <laughs> Bunk. Hey, everybody. Oil Ocean. Bunk. Bunk. <laughs> Remember Oil Ocean? Bunk. <laughs> um, yeah. I like the colors a lot, too. I think this is the standout stage palette-wise. Yeah. Oh, that's a good word. You could say palette. Palette. If you can't say aesthetic, you can shut up. I'll nice say palette. it. <laughs> palette. Palette. We think about this being the seventh stage. It's not bad. I, I, I like it for like almost shock value. I guess. Mm. Um, even though it's not on fire, it's pretty damn cool. Like this is a cool stage, and it's not labyrinth. It's not labyrinth. Yeah, it's not Clue Clue Land. It's not Clue Clue Land. It's not Labyrinth. Um, it's pretty fun. It's okay. Yeah. So far, Teddy, we've lo- we've looked at seven stages. Mm-hmm. And we've kind of been speeding through them because, you know, Sonic speed through his level, so why shouldn't we? And um, so far, they haven't been bad. I don't think any of them have been bad. Okay. But it all changes now. Here's Metropolis. <laughs> My game's God disappointing. It. it had to be at least one. <laughs> yeah. And oh, and this is the one that lasts three stages. This is, the, this is the only area in the game that has three stages. Talk to me. Mm, it's Metropolis. Is it Labyrinth? Is it as bad as Labyrinth? I don't know, man. No. Maybe not. Maybe not, but it's still pretty obnoxious. What's up with Metropolis? I'm looking at it on this map site, and it has like six maps. What the fuck? It loops. If if you fall down the pits, the the, the level loops. Um, so you can't actually die from falling. Oh Jesus! If you guys are listening, I encourage you to just take a look at this map. This is <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> this level, this this um, is is notorious for some of the most bullshit enemy placements ever. Like what? Like, you know the little sections where you have to hop on, which is a cool like cool idea, where you hop on the little, like, the little washer's nut-looking thing, and you have to, like, run and for it to go up on the on the pillar. Mm-hmm. There's the little starfish that, like, shoot, shoot the five uh, points out, will, like, pop out of the screen and just shoot out of nowhere. And then at the very top, they'll put the little, um, the little, uh, Prey Mantis looking guy that like, throws the like, 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 like little cutters out. And, um, it's just that the, the, this level's out to screw you up, man. This, this level's not playing around. They have the crabs. The crabs have, like, that, punch. that punch their arms. Yeah, the, the punch they're crabs. they're all, like, right on top of, like, a, a platform right where you're about to jump. If they just took all that shit out, man, this level would be fine. Yeah, it's the enemy placement that ruins this level. Cause like I like the like I said I like the the, the like the little thing where you go up the pillars I like the there's little areas with the little um, I don't know what you call them like the little barrel things you get to run through um, yeah there, it's like the um, the loopy sections in Emerald Hill yeah those are fun um, the enemy placement man it ruins this fucking area dude 
This is one of the first times I think that they tried to change something that didn't need to be changed. Um, I don't remember what it was exactly that you said, but something reminded me of Scrap Brain here. Well, this almost feels very similar. But they just... I don't know why why they had to make it such a fucking bitch. Like, it, it, this is not... This is not a bad level inherently. You know, I, I like <laughs> the aesthetic. <laughs> 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 I like the aesthetic. Um, I like those little um, loopy sections, as he had said. Um, I like the screw sections; those aren't bad. Yeah. Um, but god damn it, even the end boss, man. Well, in the, in the, the, here's the thing: for one, the level loops. So if you fall, you just keep you just keep looping. Um, which could be it sounds like it'd be nice because you can't die, but it just. That combined with the fact that you have three of these makes this area fucking drag, dude. This is like the rest of the game is so fun and fast and quick, and and then you get here and it feels like you spend like like almost like a, like a whole hour just here, you know. If you lose your lives, man, if you're playing this for the first time, good luck. Yeah, good fucking you know? luck, dude. With those enemies, they're gonna pop out of nowhere. Yeah, this stage is not fun. I'm sorry, I don't. It it could have been fun. I think that's the biggest letdown. This this is the but and you know this is level eight and it's the first bad one. Mm -hmm. That's got a but it's that's, pretty damn that's long. That's good, dude. For a bad one, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Because I mean, that's more stages than Sonic One had in all. Yeah, exactly. In you could have just cut off right after Oil Ocean, and you would have still had more stages than Sonic One. Hmm. Metropolis is the clue who land of Sonic Two. <laughs> Enough said. I, I don't. I don't. What else I needs to be said? I don't like its aesthetic. It's you don't. Um, Aesthetically, it's bad. <laughs> no. Uh, I I hope we get like all the comments. Somebody says the word aesthetic at least once. <laughs> I really like the aesthetic of the video. <laughs> yeah. Your channel has a nice aesthetic. <laughs> so so uh, Metropolis was our last. I guess full zone. We we have a few st stages beyond this, but they're not necessarily like the the act st like structure anymore. No, but they are kind of worth talking about. Well, in tandem. And I, yeah, I but think, I just want to explain that. Yeah, I think you're right. They could all be consolidated into one act, but they're just named different things. Yeah, you're right. I guess. So I guess we'll move on. Why don't you try explaining it um, as you were seeing fit? Okay, so I guess in the, in, you know I kind of do enjoy this because it kind of does add a th more like of a like like thematic value. Um, so the first one is Sky Chain, which takes starts out with you and Tails on the I guess like I, is it the tornado? I guess is what's called the their their plane. Uh, you know better than I do. Um, and this is a weird section starting out uh, because you are like on the top of the plane and the plane follows you. I never feel like I'm safe when I jump. Do you feel safe when you jump in this section? Um, having just played this, no. Um, <laughs> there's a part, because you can actually spin dash on the plane. Um, it's weird because you have to hit the enemies, but your, your plane is at different altitudes so like say you're in the middle and you're you're running to try and knock one of these uh, turtle looking guys or propeller but tails happens to be a little higher you'll lose all your rings and it's not like you get a chance to retrieve them because they don't bounce off anything yeah it's, i lost a decent number of lives just in this this zone i think it's a cool idea and i like what they were trying to do with this part uh and i like the fact that this leads up to you boarding this airship um, because it, it does kind of, like I said, add like a thematical value. It's kind of like a transition, you know. It's the only time that they they, they they do this. It's like a stage transition almost. I like the music. Yes. Um, this level's not fun though. No, no, it sucks. And well, at but least as a you, level, it sucks. At least until you get to the airship. I think once you get to the airship, it's okay. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but the part where you're on the plane is bullshit. Yeah, it's pretty poorly executed. Um, so I guess that was Act 1. Act 2 is Wing Fortress. 
Mm. Which is actually like, okay. I was going to say like chicken wing fortress. Yeah, chicken wing. We're at a KFC. Mm. Starts out and uh, Tails gets like shot down or whatever. And he's like, oh shit, I'm going to die. And he flies off. Oh, you know what's funny about that? That's another troll moment. You know how like in the first game there's a troll moment? Yeah. <laughs> the troll moment here, do you know it? What? So Tails gets shot down. And there's nothing in the game telling you to jump. Oh, yes. You can just die with them. <laughs> so you just die with tails. <laughs> yeah, dying with tails. It's such a troll moment. Oh, my God. I love it, but I hate it. But, but yeah. you know, I like what they were trying to do with the first, with Sky Chase, because it does lead into this, and it does feel like you chase down this big airship. Um so that's cool, and boarding the airship, yeah, like, Tails gets shot down, you, you know, like, you jump in, and then it's a normal platforming stage from here on this airship. Um, would, and would you, is it fair to really call it normal platforming? Well, it's a platforming stage. It's not, like, you know, like the gimmick of the last stage. Yeah, there's some balls to the wall platforming here. I think this is a, ch this is a challenging stage, but unlike Metropolis, I think this one's a little more manageable. I think this one's fun. Yeah, this one's balanced. It's fun. It's cool escalating the airship. You know, shots fired Mario 3, but this this is a, a good airship level. Yeah. Um, I mean, and they definitely do bring this back later um, for Sonic and Knuckles. Um, this, like, this, like the, the, the airship theme. So they, they do it better later on, but I do think this is overall a pretty good challenging platform area. The enemy placement isn't too bad. Um, it is kind of like Almost feels kind of, uh, like, gives me, like, anxiety when I'm on the bottom of the ship and I'm afraid I'm going to fall off, you know? Um, that kind of adds, like, to the intensity of the area. What's some of your favorite platforming challenges, I guess? Like, platforming like segments holding on to the bars? What do you mean? Or whatever. Like, um, hold on. Like, like when you're on the bottom part of the ship, there's, like, those are like, the platforms. And you, like, dodge the, uh, the, um, the fire from the... Uh, I don't know what you like the the propulsion system. I actually I find those a little annoying, but uh, okay. I I think it's fun because, like I said, I like the fact that you're like uh, it kind of reminds me of an area in Rocket Knight um, where you're like almost like you're like you're on the bottom part of the ship and it feels like you could just fall and die at any moment. But it it kind of adds like it kind of like puts me on edge, you know. And I yeah, that's fair. I have to say, compared to like Scrap Brain, I prefer this. Yeah, and uh, definitely compared to Metropolis. Um, yeah, top part of the ship's fun. It's got a lot of sloops and loops, and it's got little chickens and with guns. So they do have chicken wings. <laughs> they have chicken wings. Sonic Two has chicken wings. <laughs> Put it on the box. <laughs> Selling point. <laughs> um, they even tried to like bring back the Sonic One theme boss in a way. Like I almost I completely forgot it, and then I, I was replaying it. But they have, like, the laser thing and robotics hiding behind a glass shield. Yeah. It's, it's still pretty forgettable. It was super forgettable. I, co I completely spaced on you it. You know what's awesome, like, though? Right? The ending of this stage, after, after you beat him. Yeah, chase fucking Eggman to the moon. Yeah, yeah, he gets in a rocket ship and he just flies the fuck away. Mm -hmm. Like, that's that's cool. And, and, and yeah, like I said, I wish more stages had those kind of transitions. Mm, it's a Rocket Knight esque thing. Yes, exactly. Rocket Knight, because Rocket Knight's the, the the bee's knees, man. I was kind of singing Rocket Knight to uh, Rocket Man. <laughs> Rocket Knight, the best game on the Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, we gotta do a map out. <laughs> um, we're not done. We're not, dude. Um, this is the last stage. But um, we can't talk about this game without, without talking about the Death Egg. Okay. This game, I think, does... which We'll talk, we'll talk about the boss fights in a second. I think the fact that you you follow Eggman to, to the Death Egg, and it's just this like big space uh, base. Space base. Um, it, it definitely it feels more epic than the climax of Sonic 1. Oh yeah, Sonic One had no climax, you know. Yeah, it was. It was, it was pretty whack and boss. It was like you beat Eggman again, bye. <laughs> Play next time. Yeah, have fun. 
get get emeralds next time. This this really feels like there's some stakes. Like Tails just fucking died. Like he's he's dead. <laughs> totally, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> um, you chase Eggman through this big um, this big ship. You you know you're you're chasing him to this big this big base on the moon or whatever or like in space. It's it's, it's on the moon, but it's yeah, it's in space. And uh, it just feels like this is like the final showdown. You know. Hey, maybe this is the inspiration for Mario Odyssey. Maybe. Did the best tells die in that game? Yes. <laughs> um, so, Teddy, do you want to lead in and, and explain the, uh, the the bosses? I don't. Okay. But I will. Okay. Um, you come in, and you know how there was music in this game, right? Yes. Well, now it's just like jumbled alien sound effects it's it's uh it's kind of off-putting it's intimidating yeah which is <laughs> trying to avoid aesthetic um, <laughs> it's cool it's cool coming into the first boss of this section with that music and that off-putting sound effect it's Metal Sonic. Well, I, I want to stop you there, Teddy. Okay. Because it's not Metal Sonic. It's it's um, Mecha Sonic. Cyborg. It's Mecha Sonic. What is it? Mecha Sonic. I, b- I believe that's what this one's called. It was Mecha. What's the difference? Metal Sonic is was in a CD. M- like um, Metal Sonic's the blue one. Yeah. Okay. I, I I believe his name's Mecha Sonic. I could be wrong. I know he's not Silver Sonic because it's the 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 uh, there's another robot Sonic in the Game Gear games called Silver Sonic. Okay. So I, I I believe this one's Mecha Sonic. I don't know why they had like three separate fucking robots in the classic era games, but they did. Right. And of course, Metal Sonic's the one we all know. But this actually is not Metal Sonic. Okay. Well, it's Mecha Sonic, and it's pretty cool. I mean, it's a decent little boss battle. You're fighting a, a cyborg Sonic. There's nothing like this in the first game. Oh no, and it's 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 kind of surprising. I remember I remember for sure this when I first like I said played through it and used save state to to, to beat it. I, I got here and I like almost shit myself, you know. I was like, I I, I gotta fight me, like a, a version of myself. And man, this this one took me uh, took me a while to get past. Yeah, I mean, Mecha Sonic, man. Um, pretty much every child's worst nightmare, right? He was scary. Like, he was intimidating. Uh, so, you know, you have the music, you have the aesthetic, you have um. <laughs> you have two Sonics, right? And one of them is a robot. And he's a pretty competent robot. What do you think about the Mecha Sonic battle? Um, this one took me a while to get past when I was younger. Um, I think it's tricky. You really got to learn his timing. And yeah, it's because it's time, sensitive, right? It's the first time in a Sonic game so far that we've had a boss fight where you actually need to... to learn mm. I, 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 yeah, I think I think all of the bosses like I said like, like this one has has a few good ones but I think Sonic 1 the rest of the boss fights in this game so far pretty weak pretty you know bop them on the head it's basic yeah there's definitely some clone boss battles this one feels more like because like this one you can't just jump on him you're gonna die like you really need to learn his patterns more and like learn when it's safe to hit him mm-hmm. I think one of the pitfalls of the Mecha Sonic battle is probably that it's predictable to a T. Like, he actually has a formula of which attack he's going to use, mm-hmm. and you can kind of exploit that. But first time playing it, though, you can't really, you know, you don't pick up on that. No, that's true. And I don't fault them for it. It's still a really cool battle, and I'm always, you know, every time I go back to the game, it's not like I remember. I don't remember what the formula is, so I need to relearn it. Plus, I love seeing Eggman in the back, like in the little window. He's like, hey, hey, look what I did. <laughs> How many tries does it usually take you to to take down Mecha Sonic? Now, I, I might die like once or twice. Um, just, you know, just out of like, I don't remember what the patterns are yet, you know. Um, but usually, usually by, by the time I get here, I have like seven or eight lives built up anyway. And like, I, I had five continues. So, yeah, yeah. I don't know how that works, so, but yeah. So, you know, so it's definitely, it's doable. It's definitely doable. Yeah. 
So, so you take down Mechasonic. Hooray. If you, there's Eggman. Classic Eggman chase. Like just a, just like at the end of uh, Sonic One, you're gonna chase him. Only this time, he's 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 got a different. He's got a second uh, phase. Yeah, he's got a whole uh, trick up his sleeves. He's got this big robot. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's just a big robot. <laughs> he went from Eggman. To egg can. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Daddy. <laughs> oh, how long were you sitting on that one? You know, as long as the map out. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. <sighs> this fight sucks. I hate this. Oh my God. Especially if you're trying to do this. In like one run, you know, just on your Genesis, <laughs> you know. Good on luck, your Jenny. Good luck on your Jenny. On your, on your Jenny Mini. Your, oh no, not not your Mini, your Jenny. Jenny. J Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> oh my God! All right, well, I'm glad we're having some laughs, but you know what? When it comes to this boss battle, I'm not. I don't. I don't laugh at all no, while I'm playing it. I I'm fucking like, hate this one. Usually, I'll be honest with you, I, I get to this part, and if I die in something, and I'm just like, continue, and I'm like, nah, man. <laughs> nah, you know what? Nah. <laughs> it's not worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it. Is it worth it's it? It's not no. worth it. Um, I mean, you want to hit him in the ass, right? It's kind of like the... Actually, I hit him on the forehead. Do, do, do you hit him on the forehead? I don't try the ass. You want to bump him though, yeah. and it, it's so hard to judge. You know what? What's hard to judge? His his hand on the opposite side of his body. Mm -hmm. How is that in the foreground and it's still, sorry, the background and, and, and it's still hitting you? It kind of defies the idea of a two D action platformer. It, it's very disorientating. I die a lot here. You need to get like eight or nine hits on the guy, mm -hmm. you know, and then like, okay, so we haven't even talked about all his phases, but forehead or ass, take your preference, right? Forehead or ass. <laughs> forehead or ass. You know, are you, are you a forehead choose. kind of guy? Are, are you a forehead <laughs> man or are you an ass man? Go ahead. And <laughs> forehead or ass, dude. Sonic, <laughs> take your pick. Um, you know what? You, you, you go for either, right? You have to get eight or nine hits, but he marches up on you slowly. You have to wait for him to finish marching. Uh, like right before he blasts off, he'll plop back down, dip his whole body, throw his or propel his arms at you as you're trying to attack him. There's no there's no safe zone to really attack him from. You know, you kind of got to get lucky. You know, it's it, it sucks. Your timing needs to be superb like this is i don't feel this is right i don't feel this is like what a sonic boss fight should culminate in there were some good examples here you know in this game there are some bad uh -huh. examples too um what's the one i was thinking of like um what were we talking about before i forget which stage it was that had a decent uh sonic boss maybe it was mystic cave right mystic, that one and, mystic that one and casino mystic cave was fair casino night was clever but this is this is this sucks. You all the crutches you had in the game, you know, your rings. You get no rings. Which I mean you don't in the first game either, but that boss fight's fair. Tails. You know, Tails usually helps you hit the bosses. You don't get He's Tails. Dead. Tails is Tails <laughs> is a boy. You know. Um Tails is a void, I should say. Tails is in a void. <laughs> yes, Tails is a void. Um I don't I don't appreciate this boss. I should just be able to clear Sonic 2 like that. Like, you know, the rest of the game went like that, aside from maybe some metrop metropolitan, you know, catch-ups. I don't know. I, I think... It makes me a little furious talking about it. Go ahead. I think um, this level does a good... Sorry, this boss fight has the right idea with Eggman hopping into a giant mech. It's definitely better than the laser bullshit, you know, from before and stuff like that, the little pillars. Um, I I do agree with that. I don't... The, the, the way the boss fight plays out is fucking bullshit and i never feel like i know what i'm doing half the time you know um but i think they could have taken the idea of him hopping into a mech and made something good out of it like what if he had this the uh, uh, just the same mech only maybe a little bit bigger 
and maybe the way it played out was that like he was on the bottom part of the screen and you were on the top part of some platforms and he could punch up through the platforms and you had to like dodge that and then hit him or something i don't know it's just an idea um but i i do like the idea of him getting a mech it is a very eggman or you know like or, or a robotnik style fight you know um i agree with fights, you you know but the fight sucks i agree with you I, I i like to presume best interest or you know best intent and mm-hmm. it's funny because you know you, you when we talk about the map house for sonic you you tend to err on the side of thematic you know which, yeah. which i don't maybe i'm it's because i'm not as much of a fan of the sonic universe i like the sonic games and i think about the gameplay i think i presume best intent with the challenge you know i i don't mind a challenging sonic boss battle in fact i prefer that but i don't want it to be outrageous and i don't want them to make me have to fight metal sonic every time before i have to fight not metal sonic (laughs) mecha sonic right i actually wouldn't mind a metal sonic fight but mecha sonic you know what i mean oh you can play sonic cd can i okay yeah on my way available your gamecube oh yeah damn i just need to import the or not import the gems collection order the gems collection get it dude we could do a sonic sonic cd map hey thumbs up the video if you're interested in sonic cd map Thumbs down the video if you if you're not. <laughs> God damn it, Alex! All right, whatever. That's, that's, I, I, that's I fire for know, Spencer. Come on. I just want to know. No, Spencer's going to give us a thumbs up. No. I'm been I'm being positive to Spencer this video, and I'm not picking on him today. So that's good because yeah. we we're going to do a game talk with him. <laughs> we're in a, we're in a good space here. We're talking about one of my favorite games of all time, so I'm trying to be positive. <laughs> okay, good. Well, in any case, yeah, no, I, I fucking hate Death Egg. It's it's good in the sense that they had good intentions. Yes, I do think if the the mecha fight could have stayed how it is, and then this fight could have changed and still been in a big mech, and it would have been awesome. And I do still think overall it does still have this ominous epic foreboding like like climax you know like it like it still has this this feel that it feels like the final battle something that sonic one was lacking but the execution man it's just so bad the execution <laughs> jeez alex <laughs> how long were you sitting on that one <laughs> i was just waiting for you to pull it out i was like I was like, what are you going to say, egg? Don't make me pull out my aesthetic. <laughs> never never say that in public. Um, my egg aesthetic. <laughs> your egg aesthetic. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you beat, you, you beat uh, a- egg bot. Did you? 9,000 over here. Right. How long did it take you to beat egg bot 9,000? A lot. A lot. Especially when I was a kid, dude. I don't know. I wish I could see how many times. Because I, I still have that save file on my PS2. I wish I could see how many times I restarted that point in the, in the save state. Because <laughs> it was probably a shit ton. Um, but you beat him. And you chase Eggman down the, the long hallway, right? And then you beat the game. Hooray. You are a true blue hedgehog. And Tails isn't dead. Fake out. Yeah, what a what a surprise ending. <laughs> Tails isn't dead. <laughs> Tails is a boy. Tails is a boy. Sonic 2. Um, still, I think even after doing this map, which is interesting because I, w- I was worried. You know why I was worried? Were you worried it was going to displace your feelings for it? Yes, because that's what happened with Banjo, man. Hmm. Why do you think and it I'm stands glad... as one of your favorites still, even knowing some of the problems? It's the aesthetic. No, um, it's <laughs> it's it's how it's the fact that, like we said before, up until about mm, Oil Ocean ish, um, the game's the game maintains the sense of speed and maintains it it just it understands sonic much better than the first game did 
Yeah. I think um, part of what makes Sonic 2 succeed, where Sonic 1 fell flat, was that it was the exception and not the rule that mm-hmm. uh, they they mess up a concept. Yeah. And, you know, you know and, and there was only a couple pl- really platform heavy areas that really, you know, made you stop and, you know, use, you know, like platform. Mm-hmm. I have to say, I mean, you know, looking it's, at this game from a map out perspective, it starts really strong and it holds through for a while. It flows well. Like, you can almost just play up until. Heck, up until Oil Ocean, like play play through Oil Oil Ocean in there, and you you have a good experience. Mm-hmm. I agree. You've kind of got the Sonic Two experience. You don't really need to keep playing from there. Yeah, Mecha Sonic's and cool. You know, I, I I don't mind the. I think the Wing Fortress Zone, if you get to it, is really cool. But, you know, Chemical Plant, man, you don't. You only need to play the second stage for that. And we didn't even talk about remapping. I don't think you really need to. Would you? No, I don't think so. Yeah, me either. I don't know. Um, you 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 mentioned something about chemical. Uh, sorry, not chemical, but about aquatic ruin being being third the level three being a weird spot for it. Um, do you still think that's a weird spot for it? Um, I guess it's good to get it out of the way. I don't want it level two. You know, I mean. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna just look at this map and be like good, great, you know, okay, not so great, terrible, right? Okay. I'll just do that for the first seven or so. Emerald Hill, okay. good chemical plant, great aquatic ruin, okay, casino night, great hilltop, good mystic cave, okay, oil ocean, good. That's a pretty good mix up, you know. Yeah, it is. And you know, and once again, like the lowest point is uh, I guess I guess aquatic ruin with, with okay. Yeah, and then or, either Mystic Cave or maybe later, Mystic Cave. Like, maybe, maybe Mystic Cave's the lowest point. Yeah. Um, but even yeah, so, it's just seven stages. That's more than the first game, and the first game had some pretty not great stages in there. Oh yeah, and you know, once again, once you hit hit Metropolis, that's where it goes downhill. Um, Which by that point, do you do you really need to 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 finish Sonic Two? Is that that important? Yeah, it's like that's almost for like people that just want the challenge, you know, like you know, it's almost like playing like the Wily's Castle in Mega Man or something. Like, yeah, I I I, I know it's going to be hard and I can do it, but I mean, I've already beat all the other levels, so do I really need, need to? <laughs> like, mm. I still I still had a fun experience. Yeah, I see what you mean. That's cool. <sighs> This this is I think this is the first time we've mapped out a game that was so um, split like this. It's so good up until a point, you know. And it's very visible about where those those faults are. I knew going in, I I hated Metropolis. Like, yeah, it's not a surprise. I knew I really didn't like the final boss battle, but I didn't know. I didn't know that I was like still kind of okay with the game like that. Well, because like you know, like we did banjo, and banjo had a lot of levels that, like, especially in the middle, where we were like, no, no, you know. And then um, so- Sonic One, we had major issues with. And then Odyssey also had those levels where you know we were like, eh, eh, eh. And this is this is a this might still like. This might explain why this is my favorite uh, game on the Genesis because it's so so solid. We don't but like we don't have those th- those levels in the middle that really interrupt the game. Mm-hmm. Wow! <laughs> this, this, wow! It's a good game, Sonic Two. You know, I mean, there's a reason that even if it you know even if technically the first game sold more, people remember Sonic Two. And I think yeah. some of the later games did some things better. I think Mania is fucking amazing. But well, yeah, Mania is definitely the the best one on an objective scale. And I'm talking about Genesis three is probably the best one. You know, probably. But, but two stood out as my favorite. And I think with this map that hasn't changed. I think I think this map's just uh, if anything, it's it's kind of reinserted itself. This helps me understand why 
it's so many people's favorites. Before, I used to be like, no, you know? Yeah. This stage sucks, this stage sucks. But I don't think you can really be so, I don't know, caught up. You can't get so caught up in like one or two stages holding a game back. Especially when the other stages are so good. Yeah. There are great stages here. There's iconic stages. There's an oil I'm glad ocean. To, <laughs> I, I'm glad, unlike Sonic 1, where we almost like had to make a Frankenstein monster out of it, I'm I'm sort of glad we had, we didn't have to do that with this one. Like we can kind of leave it as it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just keep those shitty ones at the end. Like <laughs> it. And like I said, it. You know, I think because I going into the, the the map outs. You know, we kind of we 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 decided to do to do Sonic One, but I I was always like I'll kind of do Sonic Two. Um, but I'm I'm I am glad we did Sonic One first now because. You know, like 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 going through this, we did kind of pick up on some of the things that they learned from the, from the first game. Like yeah, and that, that I think that was over. a real shining point of this map out for me. Was like really, really making those comparisons. Yeah, and it it it, it really it really helps to understand the value of the map out. Yeah, we are the mappers, and we map. We button map and we map. <laughs> so, um, any last words on Sonic Two? Yeah, I have a newfound respect for it. I can appreciate it. Spencer, give it a try. It's, I mean, <laughs> another try. I guess I don't know. Spencer, this is a good game. Okay. Maybe next so. game talk you can, uh, you know, mention it. <laughs> um. So obviously. The next time we return to this franchise will be with Sonic Spinball. I'm I don't know what this Wii thing is. <laughs> Sonic 3. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic, Sonic 3 D Blast. Um, yeah, no, Sonic 3. Well, I don't, I don't mind that. That's okay. Okay. I'll take that over. Would you rather do 3D Blast over Spinball? Yes. I can't beat Spinball. I can't get past Zone 1. Oh, wow. I can get past Zone 1. Good. Pretty quick. You can do the okay. map out. Well, obviously, we'll, we'll return to Sonic 3, and it'll be... I'm excited to, to to do Sonic 3. I don't think it'll be the next thing we do, no. But I'm, I'm excited because, like I said, like we, we it's really cool to see what they learn. And I'm, and I'm hoping we can pick up on some more stuff in the third one. And it's... I'm... You know, the boat that you're in where you were a little worried about doing this one today, I'm actually feeling that about Sonic 3 because that, to me, nostalgically is my favorite... You know, I mm. I love some things about that, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. Sonic Two, what is what do you guys think of the map? Do you, do you like it? Do you not like it? Is is it the best game on the Ginny? Is it? It what well, it is. So, you, you know. is it map worthy? Is it map worthy? Um, if you could, you know, just give us your thoughts on the map. You know, I I, I like this series, and I think it really um, helps to to bring out some uh, good conversation. Yeah, even give us your own map out of Sonic Two in the comments below. Yeah, give or us a video or, response, or, 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 or rearrange the levels, or tell us we're we're stupid for liking some of the levels or something. I don't know. <laughs> Just don't mention Clue Clue Land. Just don't mention Clue Clue Land or the aesthetic. We are the aesthetic map. The aesthetic maps <laughs> today. The I don't know why I can't bring that up, man. The aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, but you do a game talk, right? You talk about a game, and there's some things you always mention. It's the aesthetic. I like the aesthetic. Hmm. I like the aesthetic. I like yes. columns. Yes, I like columns. <laughs> it's like I like turtles. I like columns. I like columns. Yeah. <laughs> it's a game. Well, meet us back here next time, guys, for the columns map out. No. Um, <laughs> we're gonna map out every level. No. Of columns. <laughs> <laughs> Level one, no. you match block. Columns is a fifteen Level by twenty-five grid. In the columns <laughs> map out, you can place columns. <laughs> you can place columns. Each column has three blocks. The blocks come in five different colors. Do the theme you song ma- impression. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play them at funeral. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, when you're like lowering you into the ground, no, no, I will cry from my grave. <laughs> no, no, you know, all their beasts rise I'll, from your grave. Me, as cry they from like, my grave. um, they like close the casket and they're like, 
saying the final words i'm gonna i'm gonna walk up quietly and just place a copy of columns on the casket (laughs) that's my damn cue bye bye (laughs) great map out bye (laughs) bye (laughs) gotta go fast